Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii Indoor Life. We're here at Collins and Eighth with Maida, the owner. And um, in the previous episode, we were talking about um, the different products that she has here at the store. And I wanted to see some of the local designers. And you were saying that this is... This a- is uh, Emily Blue. So Emily, Emily Blue, she actually started off as one of my customers. Oh. Originally from Japan, and now she lives here. And so she does these amazing earrings. They're very detail oriented and also super lightweight on, but really cute, like perfect for the visiting um, tourists and also perfect for the Hawaii girl that loves to have flowers or like the dainty pieces in her accessories. Cute. Yeah. And then we also have um, Mango Lux. So she has um, a line of fun bracelets and also juicy, <laughs> juicy necklaces. Don't, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> juicy necklaces, but they're really good pieces that you can layer and also um, they're affordable too. Nice. Yeah. And then we also work with Allison Izu. So Allison's been around for a while. She's actually a petite denim designer. Mm-hmm. So she designs for five, six and shorter. So which is perfect for Hawaii. Yeah. And we worked with her on a collaboration piece so these are actually just available here. So they're more of a vintage cut denim with a little kick pleat on the side, the aloha insert, and also a aloha panel on the back. Oh, neat. Yeah, and it's super soft too, which we love. So each one comes from the same aloha shirt. I'm just wondering, like, because this, this is a canoe scene, but this is not. Yeah, she tries to mix and match the fabrics. <clears throat> so they're all kind of unique pieces in that sense. Nice. Okay, what else you got? And then we have. So this. Oh my line. god! So <laughs> yeah, we we actually oh. decided to start carrying um, little girls' slippers because a lot of the moms come in here with their daughters, and the daughters want to have a chance to play dress up too. So these are um, Sand by Saya, and it's a brand from New York. She's originally from Japan, and she created these types of flats because everyone in New York needs to look a little bit more dressed up, but mm-hmm. these give an mm-hmm. option of being comfortable also. Especially in the summertime, yeah. Yeah, so these are doing pretty well. They're so, so, so cute and so comfortable also. <laughs> I like the little strap. Just, I know, I that looks like panty elastics. <laughs> <laughs> My camera is like, oh God. <laughs> and then we also have um, Matt Bruning and Wonderland Honolulu. It's a collaboration item. So these are also made in Hawaii as well. So they're, they infuse like a lot of the fun aspects of Hawaii and also like the edginess of um, all over the world. So it's really fun pieces. They look comfortable too. Yeah, they're super comfortable and they're made in Hawaii. So it's a plus to, to support local. Yeah. And also, again, we have our um, Subo shoes, which are exclusive items to us. We have um, the workshop tees. So these are actually an L.A. brand, but made in L.A. So a lot of stuff that are made in the U.S., which we're trying to to gear more towards. And then some of our other brands that we have. This is actually um, another men's line, but this is designed in Hawaii, made in Italy. And it's made by two brothers, two twin brothers, and it's Poliasco too. So their, um, their niche is the three-quarter sleeve for men. Hmm. So it's more of a tailored fit. It really gives a man a good, slim fitting shape. And it's super comfortable too. It's kind of professional. Like yeah. You can wear it to work or out. Or, yeah. yeah. And then also women like it too, because it's that more slim fitting shape. Uh. So it's like a unisex piece. Cool. And then some of our newer lines, this is like an Australian line, uh, keepsake. And of course, one of our very favorites that we started off with, um, Andy South. Mm -hmm. So this is one of his spring summer collections and we're actually working on pieces together. So that's an exciting thing that's coming out for us. What would that line be called or you cannot see? It's a secret. Stay tuned. Um, we also have vintage pieces and of course our New York line Mara Hoffman so just pretty much something for everyone that we try to have here and then just special pieces and then two um, other ones that we have also this is Kush so this is actually a real favorite so Kush is 
a local brand also. She's originally from Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, but this piece is just exclusive to us. We added a lining, so a lot of people are concerned about the sheerness of things mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. So this makes it easy to wear without having to wonder what's going to be underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also carry um, Lush, which is a favorite. And then another local brand is Julia. So Julia is a really amazing brand. Um, perfect for resort wear and she's originally from Japan and now she lives in Hawaii so really comfortable cool and easy pieces so it opens like this so what would you wear any like leggings or something yeah you can do leggings or you can do shorts with a tank underneath or you can throw it over your bathing suit mm. so it has a lot of properties and then the back makes it look like it's a maxi so you have that option of looking like a maxi without being an actual dress neat mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a like a muumuu without being a muumuu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the print without having like too much print sometimes. Yeah. And it's a lot of the things we try to have our home washable because that's important to yeah. me. I just like to wash it at home and then hang it and steam it. Yeah, plus dry cleaning is not as good for the environment as just washing, right? Yes. So. <laughs> and you have these, these cute colors. And so how often do you get new things in? Like, do you have to keep checking back in your store like every week or yeah we try to have things new things for customers at least every week and the best way to see updates are via our email list or also Instagram or Facebook nice mm. so how did you get started doing doing the store did were you always in fashion uh, well I actually I was a nurse for 12 years I worked at Queens prior to this and uh, I just always loved fashion. I grew up with two younger sisters and we would do our own photo shoots <laughs> with like blankets and the old school 35 millimeter camera. <laughs> and just from then, like I always knew I wanted to do something in it. <laughs> but and then I worked at my, um, Miami Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week mm -hmm. two years ago. And that's what catapulted me into making this a serious career change. Wow. Mm -hmm. so you were a nurse and you worked at the Mercedes... Benz Fashion Week, yes, oh. in Miami. How do you get from nursing to Miami? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I do a lot. I, while I was a nurse, I did a lot of things. Like, um, I actually worked part-time in retail oh, as okay. a nurse at one of the stores in Alamana Art and B. And um, that was one of the ways I discovered that I did want to follow my passion for for retail and fashion. And then I found an opportunity to work backstage at Miami um, Swim Week. So that's when I applied and when I got accepted, then I decided to go and do it. And then from then on, I decided I had to do it now or else I wasn't ever gonna do it. Yeah. That's cool, very cool. <laughs> so if one of your models trips and falls during a fashion show, you can also treat them. Yes, <laughs> I have a first aid kit in the back. Oh, very good. Yeah. And a lot of people actually like, call me still and ask me what should I do in case of this and I have to like oh my god refresh my memory on what what's the right thing to say and then I check back with my nursing friends so it's a good skill to have and I also find that a lot of people who are in the modeling and fashion industry now are also going into nursing or um, physical therapists or some kind of health related field so there must be some kind of correlation some yeah between the two <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Okay, so don't forget, if you want to see what's new at Collins and 8th, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the same name throughout Collins and 8th. And um, make sure you come to their store and see what's new. And maybe Maida will help you find some new style. Yeah. <laughs> we'll dress you up. Yeah. <laughs>